Today we're going to talk about five ways to get clients for your social media marketing agency and why everyone overcomplicates this. They think this is some sort of mystical voodoo magic to go out there and get clients, but it's actually very, very simple. Let's dive in. Getting clients is very simple. Well, there's two steps. Find out where your clients are, get an irresistible offer in front of them. It's kind of like asking, how do you sell a cheeseburger? Well, you go find somebody who likes cheeseburgers and you put a really delicious cheeseburger in front of them. That's how easy it is. But there are nuances to this. Let's say that you are in downtown Manhattan and you can get some of the finest food in the world. It's probably gonna be a lot harder to sell a cheeseburger to some guy walking by on the street than if you were in the middle of a baseball game with thousands of people and nobody else really selling food around. So we can change our environment, sell the same product, raise our prices and have a lot easier time selling it if we know where to position ourselves. But the fact of the matter it is, it comes down to the fundamentals. You still have to go find people that like to eat cheeseburgers and put the cheeseburger in front of them. So if you go to a vegan convention with your cheeseburger food stand, you're not gonna sell any cheeseburgers unless they're vegan. So let's talk about where to find these clients and how to offer it to them. But here's the thing that I want you to understand is that if you can't open up Facebook Messenger or open up your email right now and send enough emails to your target market and get one of them to at least be interested in talking with you, you don't have a where to find clients problem. You have an offer problem. Now we put together an in-depth video. I have like a 45 minute training on this that leaked from our paid program. I'll link to that below in the description, but go check that out if you don't know how to create an offer for your market. You need to understand your market. You need to understand how to pitch your offer to them. Doesn't matter what sources of clients you find if you don't know how to pitch. So you need to understand your market well. You need to sell the outcome of what you do, not what you do. You need to sell how delicious that cheeseburger is not all the time it takes to fry it up in a pan, right? Nobody cares about that. You need to sell the new leads and customers that your services are gonna provide instead of all the work you do to get that result. Nobody cares about what's in between. It's like selling somebody a trip to Bali and talking about how long the airplane flight is gonna be and how wide the seats are. Nobody wants that stuff. All they wanna do is arrive in Bali on the beach so they can hang out in the sun. A lot of times we don't even have to mention that we're using Facebook ads or Instagram ads or YouTube ads or Google ads or SEO or whatever it is. A lot of times we don't even need to mention how we get the end result. We just need to talk about that outcome that our client is after. The next thing you can do to have a better offer is show proof. Like if you've worked with clients in your market before, just show screenshots of the results you've gotten for your other clients. Get video testimonials from them. Get written testimonials from them. Screenshot the ad accounts with your client's permission, of course, and show that end result that you've gotten. And then use risk reversal. If you're having a really hard time selling something, try giving it away for free. If you can't give it away for free, you have bigger issues. And risk reversal could be a limited time trial that you give away, or risk reversal could be a money back guarantee. If they don't get the results they're after, then you refund their money. It's really up to you, but until you have a vault of proof and testimonials, you have to give the client a good reason to choose you over somebody else. So those are some really easy ways to do it. But now let's move on to the thing that everybody always obsesses over, where to find clients. They think that where is the answer. But like I said, you can sell a cheeseburger anywhere in the world, but it's gonna be easier to sell in some places than others. So again, if you go to a baseball game and there's no food there and you walk in with a cheeseburger stand, probably doesn't matter how good or bad your cheeseburgers are, they're probably gonna sell like crazy, right? But again, if you go somewhere where there are cheeseburger shops lining the whole block, you're gonna have a lot harder time. So first thing we have to do, we have to find out where our clients hang out. So where does everybody hang out? People hang out on Facebook, they hang out on Instagram, they hang out on LinkedIn, hang out on email. Again, this is not like some super crazy thing. There's no like magical trick. This is where people exist, okay? You can get an offer in front of them and sell millions of dollars just by going to these sources where everybody hangs out. But you wanna find people who already want what you have. So if we can get in front of people on Facebook who already want social media marketing, digital marketing services, whatever it is, we're gonna have a lot easier time. And we also have to have two very important things when we get that offer in front of them. We have to have trust and we have to have desire. Millions and millions of businesses out there need help generating leads and sales. The desire one's really not that hard if you know how to properly present an offer. The trust one can be a little bit harder. This is why the number one place that I recommend if you're brand new in a business to find new clients is with people who already trust you or at least trust people that you know. So this could be friends, could be family, could be relatives, associates, acquaintances. Maybe your mom works with somebody 
Maybe your mom's best friend at work's husband owns a business and he needs new leads. The chances of him working with you compared to a stranger working with you, if you have no experience and you've never worked in this industry before, it's a lot higher than a stranger working with you because there's a loose connection there. So they've done studies on this and psychologists have found the power of our network lies not in our close connections, not those people that we talk to every single day, not our best friends, not our family, but in our loose connection. It's a friend of a friend. That's where the power of the network comes from. And the people who have big loose networks get the best results from their network. So in this study, they actually looked at people getting jobs. And most people got jobs from a referral, not from somebody that they knew directly, but from the friend of a friend. The number one way to go out there and get clients is to tell your friends and your family that you're starting a social media marketing business, a lead gen agency, a digital marketing business, whatever kind of business you have. Tell your friends and your family and ask them, do you know any business owners who could use more leads and sales? And then go ahead and post it on your Facebook wall. Like a lot of people think that there's nobody in their Facebook network that could possibly use these services. And a lot of people are very wrong. The majority of the businesses are not doing as well as they want to do. That's why we have the statistics around how most businesses fail. And one of the things you have to have to run a business is lead gen and sales. And so if you can go out there and help somebody with social media marketing or digital marketing, wherever it is, most businesses are going to need your help. Go ahead and post on Facebook and you're going to find a lot more people than you would expect wanting your help. If you have this loose trust built with them, it's going to be so much easier to close them. The next method I have for you is the Facebook pixel. So we can actually go to somebody's website and we can see if they have a Facebook pixel installed. If they're running ads and they have no Facebook pixel installed, there's a good Good chance they're not getting the results they want. There's a good chance they're messing this thing up. But since they're already running ads, we know that they already believe in the value of advertising. So if we can go in there and say, hey, I see you're running ads, but you're not getting good results because you don't have a pixel, so you're not even tracking your results, I could fix that for you. Then you're going to be like a savior to them. But here's the other thing. Some people think that if a site already has a pixel, that means that you shouldn't reach out to that client. But guess what? One of the best ways to get clients is to reach out to people who are already running ads, they're already tracking their results, they're not getting the results they want. And it's probably because they're just not very good at marketing, right? That's not their expertise. They know they need to do it. So they go out there, they try and do it on their own and they're getting subpar results. So if you can reach out and you say, hey, I saw the ads you're running. I saw you're tracking your results, which is great. But I noticed a couple things that uh, would improve your results. Do you want to have a quick chat about that? It's a soft pitch and you're saying, hey, I'd love to help you out for free. And then you get on the phone, you start talking with this person. They understand subconsciously that you know more about marketing than they do based on your conversation because you're giving them free tips and they're going to ask you how you can work together. So that method is the Facebook pixel. Go out there and look at people who are already advertising. See if they have a pixel on their site. If not, that's a really easy fix. Show them how to put a pixel and track their results. And you've built goodwill. You've built reciprocity with them. They're going to want to pay you and keep working with you. If they already have a Facebook pixel, show them how they can get better results because these people believe in the power of ad advertising. Another way to do this is to go look at people who are advertising on Google, but not on Facebook and just set up some retargeting on Facebook for them. So this brings me to my next point. The third way to get clients is the retargeting offer. This is when somebody has a Facebook pixel on their website. And so people are coming to their website and then they're bouncing. Cause you know what happens when you go look for, let's say you need a new plumber. I'm going to open up six plumbers in my tab and my tabs across the top of my computer. I'm going to look at these six plumbers. I'm not really going to understand how to evaluate which one to work with. Probably get distracted, accidentally close out my whole browser and forget that I even look for plumbers. And then guess what happens? One of those plumbers is going to retarget me, which means they're following me around the internet with ads. And I'm going to see their ad. I'm going to remember that I needed a plumber and I'm going to click on that one. And I'm going to buy from that person because they followed up with me. So if we can reach out to businesses who are already advertising, but not using retargeting, we can show them how, hey, your customers are opening up all these tabs and the person who retargets them and follows up automatically with these ads is going to get their business. And guess what? I can set this up for you now. And this is going to drastically amplify the results of the advertising that you're already paying to do. And if they're already paying someone to do their ads for them and that person's not getting the results they want, they'll likely switch to working with you because you're getting better results. And like I said, all they want is that outcome. Now, this also applies to people that have Google traffic. You can go to the front page of Google. Who's not running ads? They're getting traffic. They're not retargeting. Reach out to those people and say, hey, you're losing out on a lot of money because you have all this traffic coming from Google, but you're not retargeting that traffic. Would you like me to set up a simple campaign that's going to have a crazy ROI for you? Method number three, let's go to another place where we have hungry buyers. Gary Halpert said, I'll take hungry buyers over a great product any day because it doesn't matter how great your product is. If nobody wants to buy it, you need a hungry market. So who is already seeking out advertising services? We can go to places like Upwork. 
Upwork, there's people directly looking for advertisers to help them with Facebook and Google and YouTube and all these other things. Freelancer.com, there's a site called Growth Geeks. This is like a marketing site. You can go on there and list your services, sell them to people who are looking for marketing services. Do you know how easy it is to sell marketing to people who are looking for marketing? One that people might not think of is you can go to monster.com. Who in your area or in your niche is looking to hire a full-time marketer? You can reach out to them and let's say they're gonna have to pay 7K a month for a full-time marketer with benefits. And you can reach out and you can say, hey, I already work in your niche. I already get great results for your niche. I'll do this for 5K a month and you don't have to provide any benefits for me. Instead of them having to go through all these interviews and hire someone who they're gonna have to train from ground one and they probably won't even get the results that they're after for six months, they can hire somebody in their niche as a contractor who already knows how to get results for a cheaper price. You can go in there, pitch yourself for 5K instead of seven and close that deal on monster.com. Method number five is free content. We can use free content on our Facebook wall. If we have a lot of people in our network who are in our niche who might possibly wanna work with us, we just keep posting free content about the results that they're after. That's gonna build trust. That's what happens here on YouTube, right? A lot of people are posting free content to build trust, to provide value, to do all those things to do, to prove to people they can get the results that they're after. So free content, content if you have an audience is a great way to get clients but guess what if you don't have an audience free content is not going to do much for you right if nobody's watching if nobody's listening what's that free content going to do for you and a lot of people make this mistake a lot of people early on in their business focus entirely on free content and they're posting on instagram and they're posting on youtube and they're posting on snapchat and they're posting on all these channels i think because gary v is like obsessed with publishing content and he tells people they should do it too all reality like most people should not be focusing on content until they have their offer figured out until they know how to close a sale until they know how to deliver a result and then you can amplify those efforts by focusing on free content so if you're a little more experienced definitely free content is a great way to bring in more clients you can do this in person too you can give free meetups in your city and then talk about the end result that you can provide and then we have method number six to get clients my favorite method of all time is bring the client to you with advertising. Most of us sell advertising services, yet we don't do it in our own business. If you're watching this, I would guess that you understand the value of advertising. You appreciate the value of advertising. Advertising is not free. It's not the thing that you wanna be focused on if you have zero clients right now. But if you're already making money, you absolutely want to advertise. Advertising is exactly like investing. It's taking money and then turning that money into more money. It's flipping money. That's what advertising is. And so as soon as you start making money, you should be investing that into advertising so that more money comes back out, okay? It's just like stocks. If you had a million dollars, you wouldn't just leave it sitting in the bank. You would invest it in stocks and mutual funds and all these things that are gonna bring more money back. But if you have a killer offer and you can get results for your clients, the way to bring them to you without you having to reach out to them is just advertise to your market with a great hook and a great offer they'll come to you and they'll want to talk to you and you can enroll them as clients. So those are six different ways to get clients, six different places. But remember, it's really simple. We find our clients, where do they hang out? You know, it could be anywhere. They could be having a rally downtown and I could just go down there and talk to them right now, depending on my niche. Or I could hold a free event. Or I could go on Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat or YouTube or whatever. They're everywhere. Your clients are everywhere. Find out where they all hang out. Find out the groups that they hang out in on Facebook and just go talk to them. The number one question around getting clients that you need to ask yourself is, did your target customer see your offer today? Your success depends on how many offers you make. I make hundreds of offers a day and that's how you make millions of dollars in revenue. Now, if you just wanna make six figures or you just want to replace your job income, you don't need to make hundreds of offers a day, but you gotta at least make a couple, right? So the question you need to ask yourself around getting clients is, did your clients see your offer today? That's really in our cheeseburger analogy that's just going into the crowd and saying, Who's hungry for a cheeseburger? But make sure you're not in a crowd of vegans, okay? Make sure you're a crowd of people who love cheeseburgers and that's what's gonna make it easy. Because there's a million and one ways to get clients. You don't need to do all these. Just pick one method that you're comfortable with and stick with it. Do it consistently over time and get good at it. Just one of these, that is more than enough to build a six and probably seven figure business. Once you're at seven figures, you can start thinking about adding more. Get really good at it, do it manually first yourself. And once you start to do it really well, then start to automate it. Automate it with software or subcontractors. And then just do it over and over and over again every single day. Business is just finding one thing that works really well just repeating that thing. That's how you scale a business. Everybody thinks that you need to find the newest, latest, greatest thing. 
That's why most people are complete failures until they do it long enough, until they chase that shiny object long enough to finally admit to themselves, okay, I just have to stick with one thing to get the results I'm after. And then they start to become successful. If you need to watch over the shoulder, come check out our program, digitalnomad.com, and we'll help you with all of this. That's all. Until next time, smash that like button and I'll keep making videos like this. I can even get more in depth and do walkthroughs if you want to see things like that. Put in the comments, what's your favorite way to get clients? Which one of these are you going to try and what questions do you have about it? I'll jump in the comments. I'll respond to every single question and I'll see you on the next video.